but my name is Shelly, and I was in a my had my art in a art gallery last night, and it's featured for the rest of the month. And I had this, I don't know. I sent a, a a sample to Black Lightning. If he did, you receive it? Oh, really? Um, yeah. I got to look for it. Yeah, I just I'm, sent it by text. So, oh, good. I'll see if I can bring it while you're talking to the people. I don't if that uh, barber. So, <laughs> yes. Good stuff. Our interruption. Mm -hmm. So, I am a veteran. I was in the Navy. And the pieces that I painted, I painted those during COVID because I got out of the military in 1996 and I just started receiving my full benefits in 2022. So it was a 28 year battle by myself, fighting for my benefits that were due to me. And everybody said, give up because it took so long. Most people would not fight that long, but I'm a person, I'm a woman that does not give up, especially if it's something I believe in. And if it's even to be able to share my story, which that's what my paintings were. I painted those paintings during COVID to help myself release the pain, the anguish, everything I went through during the military as a brown skinned woman and in a male's army, as they call it, a man's army on a ship. And there was very few of us women. So I got out early because of certain circumstances and I just, I dealt with my life. I did what I had to do. Those 28 years I was homeless, not the whole entire time, but I had few little apartments here and there, but I was on the street more than I was in an apartment or in a home or whatever. And I, I struggled. Two years in a row, they took my taxes from me whenever I was able to work because as a disabled veteran, you're not able to work because of mental issues, because of physical issues. And all of these issues were very, it took me a long time to get help with them. So in painting these picture, paintings, I released a lot, but they were not ever to be shown to anyone. So what I, I did, I painted them and I packed them away. So it, they happened in 2000 and. 20 to about 2021. Yeah, like maybe one, one and a half years. And I was at a business. Oh, in 23, I was finally able to LLC my business because the idea came to me back in 2001. But because I was homeless and struggling with finances and everything else, I was you know, I, I was always writing it down and keeping my business on my mind and finally LLC the year after I, well, actually probably about eight months after I received, started receiving my benefits. And uh, from there, I'm just, you know, even with my, ben my, my business, I only made $25 last year, but for me, that's a great accomplishment because it took me so long to get there. So I was at a business meeting and in that business meeting was a event planner and the event planner also is an artist. So we talked art and he's having an art show and I asked to be in it. And last night was the unveiling. So my, my artwork is titled A Life Painted with Purpose because it's all the stress, all the pain of what I went through, but how I, how I, how I expressed it, I, it's not in a depressing way. It's the main color is blue. And then I balance it out with white and black. So I love blue. Yes. So everybody, everybody could relate to feeling the blues. 
So that that was what came out, and all of them are in those color colors. However, they all have a different personality. They all have a different message. And the last one, it is part of the series. However, it's not actually part of the series because it's in color. And that one is titled, My Storm is Finally Over. So, oh, to also interject why storm is because I was born in Honduras on an island during a very devastating hurricane. So from birth, I've been in a storm, a hurricane my whole life. And I've I, I literally put here to withstand the storm and I have a poem that I would like to read. It is also on the topic of uh, what we're presenting tonight. So if I might read the poem. Okay. Now this poem was written back in 2000, uh, when did, 2011, 2012? No, before that, 2002, I believe. Whenever, when did 9-11 uh, happen? Oh, 11, 2011. 2011, okay. So this was written in 20, a little after that because it was, it's literally for the, uh, what happened, you know, in 9-11. So it's called Divided States of Destruction. A crown I wear upon my head as I walk through these streets of dread. Locked up from the time of conception. It is beyond me why my people feel that they do not have the time nor the right to question blunt deception. I am finding my way as I research myself back to my nappy roots. For my journey has been long, but my will has been as strong as my boots. I'm ashamed of the pale because their day shall avail. If they do not fix it, they will all burn. I was put here to withstand the storm. Now, how are they not able to see them fly? I'm telling you, there's more than meets the eye. The two sang straight to the bottom, and there's no coincidence. It happened in autumn. Hmm. Come on, y'all. Oh, I is like that. Not big enough? It, come on, y'all. Is a zip code not big enough? They went down in a cloud of dust. They did not bend nor blunder. Now, how many of us have to go under here, as I speak these powerful words of thunder, I am your modest genius wonder. We were talking about the, uh, the brother in North Carolina that was, uh, it may have been lynched, you know. They trying to claim it was uh, suicide now. So he bought the rope. Well, if he bought the rope, then we can, we can prove that alibi. <laughs> you know. Oh, but go right ahead, sister. I didn't want to cut you off. Just want to let you know. Uh, well, let me do a sound check. Uh, 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 brother Black Joe, can you, can you hear me, brother Black Power? Well, I won't give any opinion, but I'll just read it. It says, uh, a man found dead with a rope around neck in Vance County, uh, sheriff's office says. Now, this was in Henderson, North Carolina. Uh, it says a 21 year old and he was 21 young young man 21 year old and many questions remain after he was found near the base of a tree in Henderson on Wednesday say so this morning at 10 a.m. Uh, deputies with the Vance County Sheriff's Office were called to 285 Vance Mill Road. On arrival, deputies found the man in a seated position with a rope wrapped around his neck and the other end of the rope attached to a tree. According to the press release uh, uh, th 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 on Friday, 
it says uh, the uh, the area uh, McGee was found was outside of a fenced in area. The sheriff said the location is near a tractor repair business and a Baptist church near the intersection of Vance Mill and Martin Creek Roads. Uh, since being discovered, uh, says M McGee, uh, has been transported to the North Carolina uh, Chief Medical Examiner's Office for autopsy to be performed. Uh, at this time, authorities have not given a cause of his death, which is obvious. Uh, McGee's family and it also says civil rights attorney push for answers. Uh, McGee's family uh, has enlisted the help of national civil rights attorney Harry Daniels and Lee Merritt as well as North Carolina uh, Jason uh, as a North Carolina attorney uh, Jason Keefe uh, to call for answers. In the press release, a uh, family spokesperson said authorities told them that they couldn't view the body and video posted by family members on social media went viral overnight. As of today, the authorities have, well, the, <coughs> excuse me, as of today, the authorities haven't shown us anything uh, proven that this young man with no history of mental illness took his own life, uh, said Daniels. How can the police expect us to take their word for it when they won't even let the family view the body? Uh, civil uh, rights leaders Bishop William Barber II uh, has spoken about the deaf investigation. Uh, he said, uh, we must have the truth and transparency in this matter. Hanging is not a form of death that can be easily dismissed, uh, particularly here in the South, uh, where it has been used uh, used as a weapon of terror against the black families for generations. I join attorneys Daniels and Merritt as they seek truth and justice for J Javia Javion McGee and his family, and so do we in the New Black Panther Party uh, plan to uh, see about that as well black joe black power brother how you doing welcome black was looking for you a minute ago but you must have dropped off <laughs> how's everything going up up there in this in the loop you got a mic got a mic black joe joe black yeah everything slow motion Okay, uh, well, you know, what's on the horizons? We was talking about it. Uh, matter of fact, I'm going to finish this real quick. And um, I was talking about uh, Javion McGee. That was um, the young man, 21 years old, in um, Henderson, North Carolina. Uh, a parent lynching, looks like. But it said, the rest of this says, the circumstances of McGee's uh, death remain under investigation. There's no uh, determined cause of death. Anyone with information called blah, blah, blah. You know, in other words, call 12. Uh, so, say so he had no me no uh, mental illness uh, or anything like that to, um, to cause him to do that at 21 years old. Especially in the South where they've been doing it for decades upon decades, <laughs> you know, so, uh, Brother Pete, uh, waiting on more information, I know you're an information guy, you got any info on that black power? No, I don't have much information on that black power. Okay, so where was we, where, 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 where were we on the, um, on these new gun statutes that's coming out. You no, know, uh, a lot of new um, BS is going down. 
Aren't they on sale the day before November? Oh, yeah, but I'm just saying, they're going to be out to take people's weapons and stuff like that, right? It depends on who gets it off. Uh huh. Yeah, it seems like all of them for the same cause, for real. You know, at the end of the day, except for uh, uh, except for Wild Bill Hickok, he he wants it to be Wild West out here. <laughs> His name Trump. Trump wanted, wanted he wanted to be Wild Wild West. <laughs> Well, I agree with him on that part. I will say that. But now we got uh, places like Henderson where everybody's open carry. They got all their guns and they may have surrounded this brother and lynched him. You know what I'm saying? What are you thinking, Shelly Shell? Oh, and we got Shelly uh, Shelly Shelly on the uh, uh, on here with us too. Let me. Uh, Bring myself black up, see, so you won't be by yourself. <laughs> yeah, uh, but we was talking about those other things. Go ahead, and light them up, brother. Light them up. You, you know, because we, we got, we got stuff that's happening right here in our own black yards. You know, like that. We got grassroots work that we need to be doing right here. Because I think they're throwing. Uh, I think they sh they throwing misinformation out there by uh they keep on talking about the hate well I mean I, well, I almost said the Haitians but the uh, this uh Argentine gang thing I I'm beginning to think some of that's misinformation and some of it is partially gang you know it's like you can take a little piece of the truth and spread it a whole long way you can make uh make uh, two or three ho hoodlums look like they are a, a big ass organization <laughs> when they're not, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> but you heard the audio, so what's the audio? What's that? What that audio say? Um, they were saying because you got that translator on them. See, that's what you, we, we need to be doing as people. We need to be using stuff like that, right, brother? Hey, I've been I've been saying that for about two months. Like, like, like yeah, like uh, they, they just freed the uh, just freed two of the leaders of the Venezuelan gang that they had arrested. There's your current administration. Mm -hmm. They just freed them, you say? Yeah, after they arrested two of the leaders in Colorado and freed them on on some immigrant release program. That's, yeah. That's how that's going. <clears throat> well, they can basically um, rob us and do all kind of mayhem and and then get released. You know? So, mm -mm -mm. yes, indeed. How is it affecting you down there, Shelly? The immigrants. I don't think them immigrants are doing nothing. For real. Except for you, you say now uh, you, you saw you, let me tell you, I am an immigrant. My family, we're immigrants from Honduras. We, mm -hmm. um, we've, I've been here since I was five years old. Well, uh, I, should I live in a they like black what? community. <laughs> huh? I said that's a different kind of immigrant. Uh, we're talking. <laughs> they bum rush. I still don't. Um, <laughs> And sending in gangs, supposedly sending in. Uh, well, now it, it has been documented that some of them are uh, emptying out their prisons and stuff, uh, and, and saying uh, sending them right on over here. And they might be scared to go back, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I do, I do see they uh, it, because of they they skin color, they get a lot more different avenues open up to them uh where uh, it's like oh we'll just let them all pass because they they do that and they're good for that so we are not good for anything you know what i'm saying it's like no matter where we come from we always get pushed back and so that that would be because when they when they talking about the natives the native americans the originals 
they have a whole different set of people playing us. Yeah. I don't appreciate that, but I can't really do anything about it me by myself. So all I do is I educate myself, self, I research because I know for a fact that those are they're a mixture of a couple of different types of races and then they're put here to be the people that they were so called that they got rid of everyone remember when they said oh the what is it the savages we got rid of all the savages okay mm. that's not no, right so they got rid of all the why do they have these yeah. Trump says why something like anything black is a mud country to him. <laughs> yeah, how about that? Yeah, they run they run the casinos and stuff. So they took all of that from us. They gave it to them and then they gave them all that kind of leeway. But even that, you know, they're not going to ever admit the truth. They're going to say that they wiped us out. They did not wipe us out. We're still right here. We're still right here. Speaking of white body, got a, 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 a news flash, weather flash for uh, North Carolina, uh, North Carolina coast, uh, braces for 11 foot waves, tropical storm, force winds, flooding, torrential rain amid tropical system risk. So it's going to be a little bit heavy out there. It says, uh, uh, pressure lurks off the North Carolina coast with a tropical cyclone, uh, cyclone possible. Uh, well, uh, let's see. As low, I would think it's going on now because this is current. Uh, it's happening right now. It's a, it's a watch for right now. Let's see. Force gas tracking. Uh, for the North Carolina coast, and it's, it's oh, uh, potential uh, tropical cyclone eight. That's pretty uh, high number, uh, which is the name uh, now of the system. I always like to say this is the evolution of the revolution. Black powerful up and in, so black power. Yes, sir. Sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, uh, thank you, Brian and Mike. You know what I'm saying? Definitely check with us on, on Tuesday night, man, 9 p.m. in the East. And you know our number, 516-418-5996. Okay, the gentleman that you had up there, man, about, well, about 10 minutes ago, uh, was stating that we were already here in the Americas. Okay. Not, you know, uh, disrespecting the brother. I appreciate his wisdom. I appreciate his knowledge. Okay, ask yourself two questions, people. Does it snow on a continent in North America? Yes, it does. The only place I know in Africa where it snows is atop Mount Kilimanjaro. Okay, we are not snow people. Okay, uh, we are people of the sun. That's why we have melanin in our skin. Okay, now. I believe is that uh, those who are pushing this agenda that we were already here and all this old type of stuff, although we did circumnavigate the globe thousands of years before that savage Columbus did, but we are not a snow people. And I'm just putting that out there, man, and, and, and that's the missing link to me. You know what I'm saying, but don't get me wrong. You know I'm not putting nobody down. I don't mean. But we are the uh, we are the original indigenous, though. I mean, a lot of us. Uh, our family Check this out. Not to cut y'all out. Check this out. Now, the reason I'm gonna answer your question. The reason why I'm telling you this is because I'm from the state of Louisiana. Um, they had a woman that was a mayor in Richwood, Louisiana, which is like a subdivision of Washita Parish. Washita Parish. <laughs> It's O U A C H I T A. But when you go to the historical library here, you'll find out that Washita Paris, they had Washita Indians. Them people lied to us, man. I'm telling you. You go to Washington, D.C., bruh, them people put the directions on us. The Louisiana Purchase flag, if you look at the first original flag way back in 1800, North, when you look on the map, North was South, the South was North, the East and West. And I'm telling you, they. They didn't reverse everything on us. All you got to do is go look. And as they talking about the, the Confederate flag, 
That ain't no form of racism. That's some of them people saying that they're doing the civil war. Them stars, them stars on the Confederate flag stand for them Indian tribes. They have a Confederate Okay, uh, now, what is this, please? Okay, this is the missing link right here. Why is it black traveled in every state of the Western United States from Washington, Oregon, California, Nevada, Utah, Idaho, Montana, you know what I'm saying? Benton, Florida, Brooklyn, uh, Texas, down there, we go to the hood, right? How come this local man did not have no coverage here? Okay, check this out. It's two, it's, it's look, look, check it out. It's two things that I look at. Well, it's three things I look at. The first thing I look at is everything that we've been taught about the creator or whatever you believe in, that is your spiritual enlightenment. And you, and, um, sex, I mean, well, with that first thing, you got to understand that everything they taught you about God is a lie. God is more than what they try to tell us because they only want us in this box of what they think about us. They give us a belief in it. They want us to believe in it so they know the fate of everybody when they die. You know what I'm saying? Then, when you look in the Old Testament of the Bible for people that believe that, um, when you go to Utah, we seen it. I'm telling you, when you go to Utah, they got the mountain Moses was on. They got Goshen. They got the Jordan River right there. They got the Goshen Valley, and they got the Mount Moab right there. The same this I'm telling you, it's right there, man. It's, it's a big old desert, just like over there in Africa. Man, I'm telling you, they got it over there, man. I'm telling you, them people that went, when them people came over here, them people didn't come over here. Them people came over here with the intent to steal, kill, and rob. You got to understand. Whatever your higher power, your higher form of understanding is, you got to understand that it was already designed that way for you. It's only two things in this world, positive and negative. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a um, you know, it's not being racist. The um, the lady, you know, hmm? uh, let the lady ask the question here. Uh, black power, sister, black power, go ahead. Right black at you. Okay, those two great powers, none were okay. Even though they say the greater, there was a greater and a lesser. Correct. Yeah. I don't uh, feel that it it is mainly masculine and feminine in the strength of one has more power over the other. In that, uh, on the flip side to that, is the male, the you masculine, say goes first. Well, yeah, because yeah, what, they have power over the other. just said there were two great lights. One was, uh, you know, greater than the other. That's all. Yes. What, was, what, is the, what is the male energy? The male energy is the protector. Correct? Yeah. Yeah. In, yeah. The protector in the way of they go out and bring back. It's supposed to be. Okay. And, and, and then they flip during, during slavery. Uh, uh, they, 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 they take the strongest male. And yeah, and, and no, no, I, yeah, hold on. Talk until you uh, give up, you know what I mean? And then and it's weird for the woman to be the uh, uh, the uh, protector because uh, she wasn't going to be uh, harmed or lynched. Uh, 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 but because basically they expect for the wife to come out yelling and screaming after they lynch the husband, basically, you know. So so they didn't. That, but they still uh, took the uh, the the second uh, uh, strongest and, and and make him cower in front of everybody that keep all of them in line right there and so yeah, so basically yeah buck That's breaking buck breaking but, but go ahead go ahead sister go ahead sister go ahead sister go ahead sister i'm sorry go ahead i just want to throw that in <laughs> that's where it came from <laughs> mm -hmm. you say with me where you go sister shelly what I was saying to that is that the feminine energy contains, and when at the home front, we're the protector of the home in the sense of how it is today. We're supposed to, but we have examples of the, the woman going out and the male staying at home. Why? Because the pressures were at home. So now going back to the to the the uh, what you were saying in we we were breathed into 
but made from the earth. So we were made and then also created. Hey, but it says the, the exact words are, and I can remember them, it says, uh, let us create man in our image. Now, a lot of people, exactly. they, they, yes. when people neglect, yes, but there's a maker and a creator. When, when people neglect the female part of it and they just think that's the father and the son, I disagree. I believe that would be, um, like I say, two great lights in heaven. Who knows? You never know. Exactly. And the night, uh, uh, no, have, the you can't, which one is better, the left, hand, the left hand or the right hand? Which one is better? They're equal, but they do like two different things. things. Like Brother Pete showed me, I believe, uh, uh, Adam's first wife was uh, Lilith, you know? A lot of people don't get that. First wife was Lilith, not Eve. Right. <laughs> Isn't that deep? It's uh, like, ooh-wee. And people talking about, oh, white Jesus. Nobody said Jesus was white. They said he was black. I mean, they specifically yeah, said he was black. Well, his skin was the color of that of brass, and his voice was like that of many waterfalls. I mean, I was debating the very rules that put the pimps on that. You see, it's because on the plantation system, they put up their white as right, black get back. You know what I'm saying? We mighty whitey and all that. We always right. And that's why I love it when I see these bastards come out here to this desert and burning the sun. I ain't never had sun burn before in my life. Never. Can I give you all my opinion? Yes, sir. Brother Pete, uh, original Black Panther. Uh, welcome to uh, Black Power Radio. Welcome home. Yes, sir. Go I mean, my brother, uh, sir, is a, a slave I remain, and Brother Peter is never going to remain a slave. So, yes, sir, my brother. Is it possible? Now, this is just a thought. No, I hope people get something funny. But is it possible that God had white? Of course. That's what I'm getting at. Uh, uh, yeah, man. The, 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 the energy. The car and the bar. That could be mine. Let me finish with saying what I'm saying, you know. Yes, sir. Then y'all can chime in. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right. That wife that God had, they eliminated her because they wanted y'all to believe that he did it. He did it all by himself. God's wife had a name. And we pay attention to her name, but we don't recognize her to be who she was. Okay. His wife. His wife's name is Mother Nature. His wife's mm -hmm. name was Nature. Okay. okay. So they say it. Let us make man in our image, male and female, God and Nature. Let us make man in our image, and then they made human man. So now. Put that in your mind and see if you can work with that. And then come back at me later and let me know what you worked out. All right. I'm about to say something on that right now, brother. It's called balance. You see what I mean? It's called balance. The balance of nature. The creation and all that, you know. It took both of them to create uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and to these sisters and out here trying to say that they are the power of all. They need to stop that. You know, they need to stop that. You're nothing without your man. Just like your man's nothing without you. Perhaps. Absolutely. 100. Okay. So that female male bullshit that y'all be trying to play you know, stop it. Stop it. You want us to put ourselves, you want men to be accountable and put themselves in the position that they're supposed to be in, and we expect the same out of you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And if I may say, add to the brother's wisdom, this is why this woman, by the name of Gloria Steinem, uh, excuse the expression just being real, can kiss my ass, okay, is because the main benefits, man, of affirmative action was white women. You see what I mean? And this is why they systemically 
repeat systemically that put the black male out of the household which is welfare system so this is why young men is coming up and feminized you know shoving ketchup up their right well, 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 we're, we're still we're still, we're still getting a, you know <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 Okay, all right, so what it is, is, man, is that we got to bring back a basic family unit, you know, of mama and daddy and, and the children to keep our nation within balance. You see what I mean? Okay, it's because uh, black males, they hate us. It's because of all what they did to us. And just like uh, what they were in fear of, and as you already know, Dynamite, that they was in fear of, quote unquote, black insurrection. That's why they killed all our leaders from Martin and Malcolm, you know what I'm saying? And look at that name, look at that word, black male. Every time you said it, you said it three times and it clicked in all three times. Well, what does blackmail mean to them? Hmm? Yeah, extortion. like, like, yeah, extortion. Uh huh. It's like, how, how are we extortion to them? That's the next question I would say, if y'all want to go around with it. But, uh, uh still, uh, what, uh, well, actually, black, men, you, black you, men to them, black men to them, they are not hate, they don't, they don't hate it. They are scared of it. They are afraid of it. Black right. men to them represents intelligence. Black mm -hmm. men to them represents strength. Black yes, men to them represents nature. Represents the godness of everything that's supposed to be. I gave you a word. That word was human man. What does it mean? Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. The color of man. The hue. Yeah. The vibrance of man. Yeah. Like the re there's a reason that you have the melanin that you have, regardless of what shade of melanin it is. Regardless of what shade of melanin you have, it's a reason you have it. It's a mm -hmm. reason they don't. Mm-hmm. And what are those reasons, sir? No, I'm gonna leave that for you to find out. All right. Okay. Uh, well, I would say that, uh, and I, do, uh, and I do that, excuse me, excuse me, but I do it that way not to, not to challenge you, but I do challenge you that way because I believe that if you look for it, you'll find others, other things. You'll, you, you learn other things in the process of trying to find that. Okay. All righty. And then also, too, let me know the greatest university there was, man, was an ancient Mali called the University of San Corre. Mm hmm. Goes right along with your name, brother. <laughs> That's why I took, sir, sir. That's why I took the name. Yeah. Uh huh. And, 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 and the word education. Mm hmm. That's, that's part of an education. If you notice, the teacher never gives you the answer. Exactly. That part. Sister Shelley says gratitude. Uh, yeah, sister, we still here. Everybody's welcome to uh, jump on in whenever you feel in it. But uh, I would want to say that uh, yeah, it, it's like it's like um, they knew. Oh wow! I be getting stuff like a revelation sometimes. Uh, that's why I'm the open them because <laughs> God just give it up, you know. Um, okay, uh, say when we first started out, we were darker, right? So they say, uh, all of that power, uh, going in from the sun, um, into our melanation, right? So they wanted to water it down. That's basically, uh, what it was because they say, uh, then, then they, they make it, uh, us less strong, uh, because the ones that they had to hold down. 
because they had brutal torture for uh, black uh, uh, brothers that were strong, like cut their feet off, cut their hands yeah. off, and cut their yeah. uh, genitals off. Why yeah. those particular parts? Probably because of their ancient voodoo bullshit. Uh, I think I can mm -hmm. say bullshit on here. I'm not sure. I'll find out tomorrow. Ha <laughs> 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 But, but basically, it's like but basically the cut, some cussing is, is all right, I think, but but not too excessively and not too, you know, ain't gonna aim it at no particular nobody except for uh, uh, those uh, uh, politicians down there in California uh, that that's been a nuisance uh, to our people. So uh, we do uh, have they all belong in jail. Yeah, we got a busy one. Um, uh, Radio on the stage with us as well, uh, brother uh, Major, brother Major on the stage, brother Major, what's happening? Oh, oh, but I, I, we come right back to you, uh, uh, Shabak. I hope you got a minute or two. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, man. I, I'm just sitting here watching the idiot box man sipping on some coffee. All right. Well, I'm just sitting on some coffee. Got the TV off, focused on y'all. So, uh, brother, oh, br brother, <laughs> hey, I'm focused like I'm focused like a, a, a like like a sniper in a tree that's been sitting up there for three days, just drinking coffee, waiting on your ass to come out on the goddamn back porch because I'm a Mm -hmm. yeah, don't don't make me don't. I'm just I'm just joking. That's my comical relief. So uh, I black, need, I need I need y'all to do something for me because I had a phone call when y'all was talking about it. What does the word news mean? What did the sister say the word news meant? Oh, uh, sister Shelley, uh, you there? What does word news mean? Because we was coming up with all of our scenarios, but. <laughs> No, wait, we got to get the official. You still there? Uh, let's see. Let's make sure you unmute it. I'll unmute you. Okay. Black Power, Sister Kelly, what does the word, uh, wh where does the word news come from? You, you had the answer for us earlier. <laughs> Uh, everybody, please mute your mics. And uh, we got Bilal. Uh, Black Power, brother. Yeah, Black Power. Recognize that voice. What's happening? Talk to me. Oh, All right, my brother. I thought I'd tune in, man, and see what's going with the people. All right. We got my brother, uh, bro, uh, 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 Muhammad. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, drum. Hey, hold on. I got a drum roll on here. Somewhere. Hold on. Yeah. Um, uh, Southern uh, um, Regional Chief of Staff. Southern Regional Commander. Yo, right there. Yeah, I, I couldn't have said it uh, better because he said it better. So let me get the... Uh, let me get... Oh, I got drum and stuff. I'm going to figure this thing out. Okay, here we go. This is for Thank you, bro. You, uh, Wesley, uh, Muhammad, the Black Power. Hold on. Black Talk, talk black to me, uh, uh, come on. Can you hear us, brother? Wesley? Black, power. black power, black power, black power. Oh, yeah, talk black to us, brother. Good to hear your voice. Glad that you finally came on. This is the new uh, version of Black Power Radio. We going on Facebook Live and uh, uh. Well, just let me say, I feel truly honored um, to be a part of this platform um, that's able to reach so many of our people in need in this time. And so uh, I just want to do my part and do the work there, comrade. You always put me in the book, that's for sure. Thank you, sir. Uh, Tulsa, 
and every other uh, uh, when they call us, right? When when they call the black boots on the ground, we shows up. Oh, we show up. We show up. We in the house like furniture. It's, it's a way of life for us. We not like the other formation, just trying to get the fame and the name. We true service for the people upon the true generals and true leaders. Right, talk to them, talk to them, let them know. This is the real deal right here. That's yeah, why this is the real deal. We need the people, man. Everybody, man, should understand to know and not to do is sin. And not only those that do, but those that sit back and watch those do. So if we continue to watch our people suffer, man, we are not righteous people unto our king and our God. So, you know, we're not trying to promote, you know, no racism or nothing against any nationality or race. We're just saying go ye amongst the children of Israel first, then go ye amongst the world. And I truly believe it's gonna take eons and years and years to get us back to where we're from, where we came from. And so uh, we have no time to waste on nobody else but our people. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's to go ye first to the children of Israel, to the lost sheep of Israel, the lost children of Israel. Go to us. You know, I just believe, brother, it's, it's seasons and times. Life is about season and time. It's like an eclipse. If we don't get it now, we'll miss it. It might not come around in, in our generation. And so, man, we got to catch this opportunity while we can. I think, you know, with the new election and thing coming, I think it's just a restart for us as a people to get in position and build a strong foundation, man. You know, work on health care and get back where we were, kings and queens. Find dignity within ourselves with the moral character that dictate our action, man. And quit living up on an animalistic way of life. You know, sex, money, and drugs. That's the way of America. That's not the way of our people. We've taken on a different culture that's destroying us, man, spiritually, man. And that's what they want to do. The word genocide is a systematic way to kill off a race. The word is what race is being killed off by the system. And so we got to identify ourselves where we are. If we don't see ourselves for who we are, then we're going to keep lying to ourselves. You know, a law says, you know, we was looking at ourselves dimly in the mirror, but we come to a point where we see ourselves clearly, you know, and so we have to judge ourselves for who we are and act accordingly. And that's kings and queens, my dear brother. Black power. Oh, yeah. Oh yes, Black Power, that part. And uh, and welcome to um welcome age I mean welcome to Black Power Radio TV and News. What's that? Nish? Nish? How you pronounce that? <clears throat> Is that sister Nish? Black Power Queen. <laughs> To the picture that well, but uh, <laughs> you, you might you can uh, you can come on, you can speak. Well, let me before you just face. You might be having trouble. All right, Black Power, Black Power. Welcome to Black Power Radio TV News. Black Power, Black Power, Black Power. All words. Appreciate you, brother. Yeah. Maybe she's just listening in, but uh, you can speak at any time. Uh, uh, the sister just uh, chimed in. Oh, um, I see you muted. Uh, let's see if I can unmute you. You have to do it for yourself. But uh, this is People's Network and the People's Show. Uh, and Brother Wesley, uh, we was talking about the brother in North Carolina. Matter of fact, we was thinking about doing some boots on the ground. We need to uh, find out exactly what's going on down there. And um, You talking about with the truck driver, sir? Yeah, people down there already, so we want to find out uh, from the family how the family want to handle this, but uh, we need to be at least finding out what's up because uh, nobody and that this young brother, 21 years old, was going to uh, unalive his own self. Yeah, yeah, and take a rope out there to hang himself with him. And he had such a successful career being a truck driver. I mean, you know, but if you just look at what's going on um, throughout society and throughout the world as it deals with our people, you know, we are, we are on, up on attack, not just physically, but spiritually. I mean, you know, we're self-turning on each other. We're seeing 
you know, so many murders and things like that. But when it when when other nationalities think they can take it out on our people, I think what well, I know we have to be accountable for our people. So I think that we should have been on ground at a lot of these situations, circumstances, especially um, with the sister that was killed. You know, Miss Mars, I think we should have been there. Yeah. You know, for family, so family, and and, and a, a, a show of solidarity. You know, and, and other incidences. So I think that is a brilliant idea, and I think we need to be more active in these situations, circumstances. Because uh, as we see, uh, nobody else cares, my dear brother, but this formation. So Black Power and salute to everybody in this formation that's doing the work. We got the uh, uh, Norfolk formation here. Uh, with us uh, helping to recruit and um, a new chairman down here, Brother O.C. And it's really starting to pick up since uh, 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 well, uh, Chairman Emeritus, uh, Attorney of War, Dr. Uh, Malik uh joining back forces with our uh, Mama, the Shrek, as you say. <laughs> yes, yeah, the Shrek. Yeah. Well, you know, I talk to your merit all the time. And so, man, you know, you know, we all working together on the national reparation. Maybe we can get our brothers and sisters reparations. So, you know, you know, uh, Dynamite Man, uh, how me and Akbar. So that's my boy. So, you know, just to be able to serve with him man, and continue to serve the people and fight, man. Such an incredible leader, man, an individual man who sacrificed his life for the people. So, you know. What better example is to follow but our honorable chairman at bar? Black Power. Oh, yeah, and the dynamic duo together, that's really, that's even better, you know what I mean? <laughs> Dynamic duo. I mean, me and Don, me and Akbar, we the dynamic duo too. I can't call him. I especially on here, uh, call him, what they call him national chairman on here, just like I call know. Uh, Malik Shabazz, the uh, chairman emeritus and the oh, chairman and our uh, 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 you breaking up my dear brother they are hero yeah, he's been our hero for a long time Malik yes, and he and Akbar together because <clears throat> uh, no Malik He'll bring the inside and bring the side uh, uh, because he's a lawyer for one, so he know the law. And, and like when uh, just in the in the spirit of uh, of um, a few, you know, yes, you know. definitely a, a merit attorney. Malik man is an incredible individual. Man, we cannot let Corn Tail Pro destroy us as a people. Man, we know how that's been going for years. So salute. To attorney relief and an honorable general Agbar man for reconciling and atoning their differences to serve the people, man. Black power salute to them both. Oh, well, you know, God always have a uh, his, his term, his uh, his uh, his time, yeah. Black power, like you said, yeah, that's big This one, so it's all you know. You get a little down and thing going, you know, especially like, even like with our. Okay, if he comes on the line. Uh, yes, sir. Got us in going to these. Uh, uh, it's very important to the. Uh, uh, that, uh, that, that noise is messing me up. Uh, and they've been doing it to us too, you know. It, it, it's like they want to they want to stop the word from getting out. And see how it stopped when I said that. As soon as I stop, as soon as I said that, it stopped. And that's right. yeah, they yeah, they gonna suffocate the word, brother. How can they hear unless yeah. the teacher presented yeah. unto the people? Yeah, it's yeah. yeah. just doing that crap. Mm. Artificial intelligence. No, that's exactly it. The artificial intelligence, sir, is programmed to do just what it's doing, uh, brother, because they do it to me, they do it to the platform up there, man, you know what I'm saying? Because they do not like this truth, and me personally, I really don't give a good goddamn if they like it or not. Yeah, my power. My power. Yeah, or closer to my transition than my birth, and I feel that it is my duty that I got to pass down to the generations after me, man, of what we live through, you see what I'm saying, so they don't sit up here looking at this idiot box man being lied to. Yeah. Black power. Black power. Black power.
might be the storm down your way too, brother, because I know I was just reading the storm report for North Carolina. I guess in that area, the coastal area, uh, they got uh, they got a storm warning uh, going on down there. Black Power to the North, the chapter man and brother Jelani man and the chairman down there, man. Black Power, y'all been on boots on ground, one of the longest standing chapters out there i think well i know dr khalid i do my i'm a favorite that chapter i think that was his baby and so and we praise a lot for man all that y'all think that y'all are doing down there man black power black power Always. and all the way to Always. new york too with uh sister y'all holding it down black uh, power. i love you sister shanta with y'all i miss you i tried to call you the other day if you hear me you too queen mother i love both of y'all black power mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, then only a mother would give a uh, panther <laughs> back out. <laughs> Salute to Sister Janae for the work she's doing down there in Washington, D.C. We thank y'all for the Washington, D.C. chapter putting it in. Black yeah. power. Yeah, go. Sure. And Janae been uh, holding it down with all the programs. I mean, <laughs> as far as. Uh, food, uh, food, uh, food, uh, food, uh, and hold them with them, and all, you know, and, and, and for, you know, for the people, for the people. Black Power, Black Power Sister Jeanette, you know I love you, girl, man. It's a lot. I told you, God, God chose you, man. God chose you. I seen it in you. And, uh, and everything manifests, man. We do a lot, a lot. We do, man. Black Power salute to you, Queen, to the Washington chapter, man. We we got love for you from Southern region, man. We got y'all back. Um, 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 uh, we got a sister on here, a sister Nish. Can you on the mic? Uh, can you say hello? Let's speak to <clears throat> Let me see if I can. Um, um, just a minute, my brother. Wait a minute. Which one? Are you? Uh, you got Bill Shot. What is that? Wait a minute. Okay. Well, hold on one second. I'm going to mute you because uh, Brother Tabaka. Uh, was just yes, sir. brother Chewbacca was sp uh, speaking and they didn't want to cut you off there too long. Uh, but as a comrade for long, long, many, many years, he's been putting in boots on the ground, serious grassroots work. So that's why we need everybody to hit that cash app. Uh, you know, uh, a d you know, penny to a twenty. You know, dub and above. You know, uh, holler us so we can get all of our troops to where we need them to be at. And my my goal really. We need buses. We need buses in every zone, you know, because we got we got several zones and we we, we got three main zones and we need to uh, all merge to the middle, you know. But who wants to start at the top when you got to start at least at one? So hit the cash app so we can get, get, get that bus for the uh, for the, uh, the Mid-Atlantic Division. But we're really the national division because we're going coast to coast and international as well because we do have comrades in a lot of different uh, parts of Africa like uh, 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 Qaddafi wanted to do, which is uh, combine all of our uh, uh, revolutionary f resources together as one, one day. But uh -huh. for now, we'll start with a van. So, Black Power. <laughs> Hit the cash app. And don't forget to go to Black Power, I mean, to go to Shabaka's Black Experience Enhanced tomorrow, oh, well, not tomorrow, on Tuesday. 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 9 p.m. on the East Coast. And we'll be right there with you. Well, I might not. Just tell Sarge I said, hello, no hard feelings. <laughs> we won't talk about him, though. Okay, I'm glad you brought that dude up, man. We had him on there, man, on our grand rising yesterday, man. And once again, he is what he is. You know what I'm saying? He like the hoop and holler, but that's just his nature. 
that's just an AJ. He's a hooping, hollering kind of guy. And then also, too, bad, I'm like, he don't want shit over at Shabbat's black experience and ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and don't forget, <laughs> Black Lightning over here. Yeah, over here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I retired, so, I retired the belt. And now, uh, Dynamite does do music over there. But actually, you know what? Uh, Memoirs yeah. of a Black Panther, like I was telling uh, Brother Joshua. Um, that's uh, going all the way back to when we was... Uh, 